Hello, my name's Heather, and I'm going to show you how I made this model in Gravity Sketch. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created the vamp and emboss, as well as the toe cap. Because I have a very simple vamp slash tongue, I am going to do an emboss on this. My intention is to have this material be some sort of fabric and it will be very textured so instead of doing an actual you know, molded piece on top of it I'm going to emboss it and what I'm doing is I'm creating a stroke that is the outline for where my emboss will actually cut off to allow for the quarter or blucher pieces so I will take my time this line will actually be deleted when I'm finished with it. I mean, I could put it on, an, on another layer and make that invisible. For this outline, I'm using green and then I would like to put in an articulated forefoot joint across the metatarsal heads sort of articulating the upper a little bit. I am showing those in red and I'm going to create also a pattern for me to follow when I create my embossed pieces. And what I can do is I'm actually going to create thinner embossed pieces towards the forefoot and wider crazy pieces towards the back um, where you need more support or where the wearer would need more support. So what I'm going to do instead of creating double lines, I'm going to make my guidelines um, thick or thin and I will create my pieces to the thickness of them to match the thickness of these red guidelines. I am sneaking in a toe cap here. This is a very quick little piece and it will also give me an opportunity to see how the emboss relates to the toe cap. So I'm throwing the toe cap on pretty quickly. thinking perhaps a nice hot melt material. So yeah, I go back and I create more guidelines. The great thing about gravity sketch is I can kind of jump around and create what I want when I want. Sometimes when these get a little complicated, I will lock lock a, a number of layers so that as I get, you know, pretty busy and I'm working as quickly as I can, I don't accidentally move any parts. So these layers can become increasingly important as your model develops. So I've got this cuboid shape and I'm going to use the red guidelines to steer where this goes. And I'm going to keep it a different color from the upper for now, this sort of light bluish gray color, and that will help me keep track of where that emboss is. However, because I am going to make this the same material in my rendering, I will ultimately change this to match the vamp tongue material color. And I can copy and paste these pieces and then adjust them. I don't need to make them all from scratch. And I do have them wrap all the way around and down the quarter because I will continue that emboss 
shape, even though I will adjust those pieces to not bump into that blucher. I will keep that embossed in the quarter. And then as I create the actual embosses, I remove my guide so I can see a little bit better. And then it's just adjusting.
and that is creating the embossed pattern and in blender when those are rendered that will look like an emboss on that material so thank you for watching we will be further detailing this and getting very close to finishing our gravity sketch work for this model stay tuned